actually hurt. <laughs> Anyway, everybody, that's how that thumbnail, that's right. Even more news to do with the upcoming Five Nights at Freddy's 1 remake being made by Fiznom. And uh, yeah, this is real juicy. We had some news not too long ago describing just a little bit about the project itself and some questions surrounding it. We got some awesome information from that. So links in the description down below to that video. Here we have a brand new teaser. Just a little teaser here, but still a fantastic one at that. And the fact that the game has its actual name revealed. So uh, yeah, we speculated on what it was going to be called. I was, I was very, very wrong. wrong. So yeah, there's an official Twitter to do with Five Nights at Freddy's Plus. That is what it's officially going to be called. We thought it was going to be called Final Fantasy Freddy's Rebooted, Remastered, something on those lines, but nope! Plus, I should have just remembered Sonic Mania and the DLC Sonic Mania. That name gives me a few more theories that I'm probably going to speculate about later on in this video. So uh, let's just read up the information to be had on the bio of the uh, Twitter page here. The official source for updates and news on Five Nights at Freddy's Plus. Hashtag FNAF Plus. Part of the Fazbear Fanverse initiative developed by Fiznom. Alright guys, definitely follow Fiznom. He's an absolute a legend of a creator. He's the guy, as it just said, behind this. So follow him up as well as follow up this page, which um, um is something I need to do right now. So yeah, let's give this page a dag follow. So obviously, as well as this page in the coming when the heck ever given us updates and news about Five Nights at Freddy's Plus, I'm sure Fiznom will have a few things to say over on his Twitter, along with his daily shenanigans or whatever the heck he does over there. So if you're interested, yeah, check out this page, of course, and Fiznom as well. But yeah, guys, just scrolling down here for a second. Welcome back, our first teaser to do with the FNAF 1 remaster reboot reimagining whatever the heck you want to call it more officially though Five Nights at Freddy's plus and we get a look at Freddy and he looks absolutely insane now just seeing this at a first glance this really looks like an homage to the first ever teaser for the original of course Five Nights at Freddy's 1 if we actually go along and look at that as well um well you can see it on screen it's very similar very very similar the fact is that well Shetty's in a lot more shadow here um, he's not in much light compared to, of course, the very visible Freddy in the original FNAF 1 teaser, as well as the endoskeletons not being present. Although in this teaser here, you could say it's Bonnie and Chica, but you could also say, again, due to that FNAF 1 and March being had here, the back guys here could be endoskeletons. They, they could just straight up be your ordinary naked bear endos and not Bonnie and Chica, or... They could be born in Chica, so um, it, it can go either way here, you know, you can theorize on it, like I just said, being the Endos from the original FNAF 1 teaser, or it's actually born in Chica. Who the heck knows? We've got the plus sign there, it's Five Nights at Freddy's plus, so yep, have a plus sign to further say it's Five Nights at Freddy's plus, but these, this teaser right now looks in saying it doesn't look like he's using Scott's models, he's probably made his own here. It doesn't really look like Scott's model. Again, the the developers in the Fanverse initiative, Scott is not directly or at all really helping them. He's letting them do their own thing. I don't think even with this FNAF one reimagining here, FNAF Plus, he's going to be saying anything. I think he's just literally taking a back seat and he's letting these dudes do what the heck they want. Like, Fizzlom here can just do absolutely anything and Scott will not say anything about it he, he will not like interrupt at all I thought because this one seemed like a bit more special than the others like it actually is to do with Scott's work personally like it's a FNAF 1 remaster right so I thought Scott would be involved but even then like I just said I don't think he's involved at all when he's gonna button whatsoever so Fizzlom's got total creative freedom here and I'm excited for that very excited so again yeah it looks like 
he's doing everything from scratch himself of course whatever with his team or himself i don't know if he does have like a couple of people helping him or if it is just solely himself not completely sure if you guys know let me know in the comment section down below either way it looks like to me at least i could be wrong like let me know anything you think i'm wrong about or you know your thoughts on this that it's not scott's models in the slightest like not at all we've got like a totally reimagined freddy to be had here of course it is freddy but I don't know, there's something a little different looking about him here. And another thing I want I, I want to say, guys, is that we mentioned this in the past Fanverse videos, but all the games, including the FNAF 1 remake being had here, they are not canon. I was a little, like, on the fence about why this one wouldn't be canon and how it would be cool if it was, so it was the definitive version going forward. But, yeah. Either way, my thoughts, it being good or bad, it's not canon, guys. Um, so whatever's going to be had here, whatever news going to be added, or even from the old game, like, still being in here, it doesn't matter. It's not canon. So if we randomly see, I don't know, Funtime Freddy cameo for whatever reason it's not canon it's just there because fan service reasons i don't know anyway my thoughts on how this will play out and how maybe the story will go or whatever is that well straight up it's five nights at freddy's plus as that title suggests it's going to be the initial five nights at freddy's one experience but more so i definitely think in terms of the customization aspect we're gonna get just something we never had with the original if you guys remember way back to when we played the fnaf 2 remake by fiznom even with the customization in that game we were able to change the shift duration the battery level we had game mods where we can have an auto recharge insta scare so i think that's going to be integrated and much more i don't know if customization will be a thing from the get-go or if we'll have to complete some kind of story mode like the initial five nights or whatever either way when it comes to the customization i know for a fact whatever we saw in that fnaf 2 thing Fiz fiznom did it's gonna be that but more for sure we're gonna have all these game mods night settings things like that in terms of the animatronics the layout and even the lore of the game i do think it really is obviously gonna be much like fnaf 1 we're only gonna be fighting against freddy bonnie chica foxy and of course the rare occurrence of golden freddy i do think though that golden freddy will probably be uh much more common than he was in the initial uh five nights at freddy's one he was like I don't think I've even got him to this day. I think he'll be a bit more common. He might play like a bigger role, like he'd be a much bigger threat. And I really hope he is actually just speaking about it right now. That would be amazing. Like later in the night, it, he could be like a, a Fredbear situation in FNAF 4 where he's the one you have to face. Oh, just saying it. I really hope that's the thing. So in terms of the animatronics, in the initial potential story mode, whatever, I think it's just going to be them. The layout, it will be FNAF 1. But it will look different. Again, going back to Fiznom's like FNAF 2 OS game. It was FNAF 2. We knew it. it had the vents. It had the hallway. But it was different, you know. It wasn't like copy and paste. So I think it's going to be like that. In terms of the lore, again, it's going to be FNAF 1, obviously. If there's a phone guy, I'm wondering if Scott himself will even come back for this. I'm not entirely sure. He has to. It's a FNAF 1 game. If it has a phone guy, it's got to be Scotty. It really does. Will the phone call be any different? Maybe slightly. Who knows? But I do think as a base, it will be pretty much the same as the calls we had from the initial FNAF 1. I also really want to see like what we know now integrated around. Maybe obviously not everything, but it'd be cool to have some kind of spring trap reference. You know, it was said that it was in this back room where coincidentally there wasn't a camera near so we couldn't see it. But it'd be nice if maybe at one point in the night spring trap comes out, maybe not necessarily as a danger to us but as a little easter egg like we can see like maybe part of his foot somewhere or something i don't know stuff like that and also just stuff we know from the other games now integrated into this i don't know whatever it may be i just want to see it nicely tied up and much better tied up than what we had in some of the past games and yeah, there it is, brightened up to the best of my abilities. Maybe there's something here I'm missing, I don't know. But the way I brightened it, this is what it looks like. And it doesn't seem like there's any particular secrets here. Randomly, there's more like, weirdly enough, staticky looking glitchy textures to be had here. Does that mean Glitch Trap will be part of FNAF Plus? <laughs>
Probably not. I think that's just due to how coincidental it came out with the brightness here. I thought we'd have more of a glimpse of the animatronics at the back, but no, we do not. The, the eyes are the only thing that's there. And maybe in the actual image, that is literally all that's there. That's why nothing else is, uh, you know, coming to us when we brighten it up. So it, it's pretty much the same image here. We can see Freddy's shape maybe a little better. I don't know. There's really nothing to be had here. Just... Makes it look more creepy and more unnerving and more like I really, really should change my pants right now. Okay, should stay dry a little longer. Anyway, guys, I think that's pretty much it. That's all to be had here. Really let me know your thoughts on this. I, you know, I'm always in the comment section. I'm always replying as much as I can. So get down there, comment your theories and thoughts because I'm active. I'm real active. Um, yeah, so I want to see what you guys have to say because you guys always have really good stuff to say. So do you think I'm right about anything I said here? Like the plus? Are we going to have just more customization is there gonna be plus in terms of more animatronics is it gonna be plus in terms of better integrated lore because of what we know now compared to what was given to us in the first game what do you guys think either way this looks insane and uh, i'll definitely be updating you guys on this game compared to the others the others although i'm excited for um this is the fnaf one remake right so this is something extra special i'm not going to really cover the other games like even if Flumpties gets an update, I'm not going to do a specific video on that and Candies, uh, Pop Goes, etc. Uh, I'm going to leave those be. Maybe if there's more news and I bundle it up for a video, then yeah. But otherwise, not really. But this game, I'm definitely you know going to be updating you guys and telling you what's up when things are up. So yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts. Sorry for rambling here, but this is just too exciting not to ramble about. But again... I just stared at this for a little too long and I remembered the image that was had before when we brightened it. So those pants, they, they need another changing again.